The start of another football season is rapidly approaching here at the University of South Dakota. Kyle's get set to kick off the 2022 campaign this Saturday evening in Manhattan, Kansas, against Kansas State. And joining me now to talk all things Kyle, it's head coach Bob Nielsen. And Bob, uh, this is always an exciting time of year. You guys have been on the grind for, for a few weeks now trying to get ready for this day. Now that it's here, are you equally as excited? I uh, always excited uh, opening week uh, and that's where we're at right now you know you 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 spend a significant amount of time in the preseason uh, getting ready for game week and when game week comes it's a different mentality uh, for your players and even uh, for us as coaches you've been evaluating uh, you've been running these guys through through all the different installs that you uh, always do this time of year how ready are you well, we've got uh, we've got a week left, and we're going to use that week. Um, uh, the uh, we've we've gotten a lot accomplished. Uh, you know, there's been uh, uh, some things that uh, have been really good through the preseason. Some things that we recognize we've got to get better at. Uh, what this week does is allows you to focus on a game plan, and uh, it really narrows the the packages down in all three phases of the game, and uh, that will be uh, something that uh, that our team will, will respond to very well. One of those the most dominant narratives of the fall for you guys has been the talk about this schedule that you are about to face, especially over the first five weeks here, and it starts, of course, Saturday with Kansas State, and it is a big challenge right out of the gate. These FBS games always are, but this is a good Kansas State team coached by a guy that you're very familiar with and Chris Kleiman he's done a good job down there yeah Chris has done a great job which um, you know I, I knew full well that he would do a great job and his team is very much like his teams at NDSU even though they might be a little different in what they're doing offensively and defensively they're they're a team that doesn't make mistakes they're exceptionally well coached fundamentally sound uh, they play really hard uh, a team that you have to to beat because they're not going to beat themselves he always had a lot of playmakers at North Dakota State. He's got some really, really good playmakers here at Kansas State this year, and it starts with the quarterback, Adrian Martinez. is a guy that people in this area are very familiar with because of his time at Nebraska. He transfers in for his final year of eligibility. He had an up-and-down ride with the Huskers, of course, Bob, but there was never a question about this guy's athletic ability. He can hurt you in a lot of ways. Yeah, a tremendous athlete, um, a true dual-threat quarterback, um, a guy that you have to account for as a – as a runner capable of making big plays with his uh, feet and that's one of the things that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to try to give him uh, a lot of different looks um, and uh, you know in in those situations uh, where he has the ability to extend a play or or uh, uh, use his feet uh, we're going to have to do a good job of containing him and and uh, uh, keeping him in the pocket. A good running game will always take some pressure off the quarterback. You know that. And he has got one of the best running backs in the country lining up behind him and Deuce Vaughn. It's a guy that was a consensus All-American in 2021, ran for over 1,400 yards and 18 touchdowns. This is as dangerous of a running back as you're going to see at any point this season for sure. Yeah, you know, um, uh, a guy that might not be uh, a big in stature but exceptionally talented uh, you know, a guy that makes people miss has great speed. Uh, you know, they they compare him. I know a lot to to Darren Sproles. You know, who had a lengthy NFL career, and and he's that kind of athlete. Um, you know, a guy that uh, very dangerous out of the backfield, catching passes as well as with the football in his hand as a running back. Number twenty two on the other side of the ball. This defense will get after you, and this linebacker Daniel Green. He's a preseason All Big Twelve uh, pick. Led the team in tackles and tackles for loss last year. He is a really talented football player and, a, and kind of the heartbeat the way Jack Cochran was for you last year. A yeah, big physical linebacker that uh, you know plays sideline to sideline. Um, their their style of defense is different than what we see in our league, and that they're uh, you know a three three type defense. Uh, we see mostly four man fronts. Uh, so to have that game early in the year at least gives us opportunity to. To invest a lot of practice time against the the three uh, uh, the three man front look, uh, but he he plays in the middle of that formation and he's going to be around the football uh, all the time. As you look at this big picture, what this game really means to you, the win loss is the obvious part of this question. But I, I want to take it a little deeper than that. What does a successful trip to Manhattan, Kansas, look like 
for South Dakota football this weekend? Well, anytime you play these games, uh, you know, my the number one priority is is you want your guys to go down and compete. Um, you know, we understand we're playing one of the best teams in the country, uh, not, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, one of the best teams in the Big 12, but one of the best teams in the country when you're playing in a, a quality uh, FBS opponent. And so, you know, we've got to go down and compete. Uh, you got to compete every play. Uh, you got to be really good in all three phases. Uh, that's what we need to do. And, you know, in, in our experience in these kind of games, um, you know, you learn a lot uh, about your football team. Um, you learn a lot about your football team in terms of how they compete. You learn a lot about your football team and in the way that you execute uh, offensively and defensively. And, you know, our guys are excited for the opportunity that this schedule presents and excited for the opportunity to, to open at K-State.